What's up world, I am the Nameless Gamer, and welcome to the Talos Principle. I don't know much about this game, other than that it's a puzzle game, and that it's kind of supposed to make you start questioning reality. Sounds interesting enough to me, let's get started. Um, I don't know what these two things are, but let's just get to Talos Principle. There shouldn't be anything to continue. Never played this before. I don't know what it's to, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm also hoping this was recording properly because it was a little weird. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Child program. Child program. Okay, so I'm a robot. That's immediately obvious. Okay. Holy shit. That's Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hello. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Understood. Okay, before I do anything else, I need to go into settings. And just turn down... Sensitivity. Oh. Ooh, is there a third person? Oh. Ooh. Oh, so that's... I'm definitely a robot. Interesting. Okay, but let's go back to first person. I was just messing around. So yeah. Okay, that's way better. Initiating child program logic check. I cannot pass through that, so I have to find some way to turn it off. Take the jammer. Subject driver. So this is basically the... Oh. Okay, so these break the walls. So kind of what I'm hoping from this game is kind of the same vibe as Portal. Child program basic calibration successful. Cause like my Portal videos are some of the, my favorite videos I've put on the channel. Oh, here's a jammer. So I'm hoping this has some kind of, has a similar feel. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that. Predictive capacity, okay. I feel like that's just gonna detonate if I let it. So I can jam it. Oh, there's another jammer over here, excellent. So I can use this jammer to jam the machine gun. And now I can move. Oh, hello ladder. Oh, I'm back where I started. I didn't mean, I didn't have to do that. Interesting, I thought I'd found a secret. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other, lest I, lest I fall through the floor. One with faith. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, so I need the sigils to open the lock. And those are the sigils I guess I need? No. Ah, uh, okay, so those are the sigils that I can find going through that gate. These are the sigils I can find going into here. Got it. That sprinkler's already getting annoying, so let's go get for the... A switch out of reach. That's what this puzzle is called. I saw that already. Looks like it... Okay, it's not going in a circle. There's a machine gun. There's the switch. That's... Yeah, it's out of reach, alright. This little alcove hidden by a bush feels like it should be important. <laughs> but there's a lot of these random alcoves that... do absolutely nothing. It's weird, I don't normally see the silhouette in the, um... Okay. Ah, so now I go over here, and I turn off the switch, which means I shouldn't need the jammer? Yeah, okay. Ah, come on, show yourself, sucker. Now I get the sigil. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. Oh, they are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. I feel like he, this guy's this is touching on a lot deeper concepts than I was expecting. Okay, there's. Or not a jammer. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Stop. Dressed. My mouse has been acting up a little bit. Oh, I didn't even realize I could get to the same area from here. Oh, that's way easier. So if I'm... It's, like, been weirdly sensitive, and if I don't click in the right spot, it... I don't know. So this might be a bad time to play this game when my mouse is being kind of funky. So if you see me, like, pick up a jammer, and then it immediately... I thought that gate was going to open. And well then it, done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. If you see me do stuff like pick up a jammer and it immediately sets down again, it's my mouse acting up. In hindsight, I really need to just find a way to striding the beaten path. Okay. I just need to go ahead and recalibrate it or somehow, even if that's just as simple as unplugging it and plugging it back in. Here's a jammer. Go there. Oh no, I don't. Can I jam it through here? No, I cannot. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, I just ignore that bomb and I do this. Okay, got it. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Okay, very interesting.
Well, it's this way. I didn't even explore the rest of this area. There's more sigils I can unlock, apparently. Whatever. Let's keep moving. I'll come back for that, maybe. No, put that there. Oh my god, I know that sound bite. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer, with signs and portents to guide my steps. I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Is that, like, a commentary about how I could have gone and explored those areas, but I chose not to? That's an eyeball. Good. Loading library session. Mounting local disks. 47 million distributed resources found. I can't access the network, but I can get the Milton Library System. MLA is unresponsive. Oh. Hello. Unknown command. Oh, let's do hello world, because I know that's like... I feel like that's a joke. Oh, I can't. Because isn't that like a coding thing? You make it say hello world? Or I can just type random gibberish. Let's do directory. Oh, I can't do directory. What is this? Unknown command. I've done literally everything else. Basic terminal commands are list. Display a list of available resources. Open file name. Show contents of a file. Run MLA. Load Milton library assistant. Apparently that's unresponsive though. And X is close to the terminal section. Let's try running MLA. Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting him to talk to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but... Ooh. I don't want to be mean to it. Describe your functions. Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the Milton in the library archives. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library users via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. What are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library ar resource archive. How long has it been running? It has been active for 9999E years. That's a long time, because it doesn't E mean it just goes off into infinity? How old are they? Similar answer? July 1st, 1995. June 27th, 203F. I'm not sure what F means. What is the current status of it? 47 million resources in the library, taking up... 5.42125750 petabytes of disk space. There's pro that's approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 20 2003. However, the majority of the library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10.69 whatever gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. What caused the corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Okay, let's talk about the world. Forget the library. My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. What am I? Not who am I, that's... You are logged in with a guest account. Where am I? You're currently in a support system with the MLA Human Language Interface module at your library archive section may be used at any time. Who is Elohim? Elohim is a noun for god or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew, of course. Okay. Wait, let me go... Oh, I didn't want to do that. All this... I wasn't... I lost track of how far back I had gone. Okay. Let's open the welcome email. Email? 
Hi again. Sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you are nervous, but the truth is, so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young, and you've already accomplished so much. Even the if the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. So that's something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm the head researcher here, but this is your project, and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. What is Athena 6? Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Blank did not trust them, but they move with such grace and such nobility that it is hard not to follow and further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymph said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that the deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and the tr and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, Heracles, not Hercules, so it's very Greek, f load something, gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay, so I'm assuming that's like corrupted data. This seems to be a retelling of like Greek myths, but I get the feeling that it's not. I get the feeling it's like a double entendre, if I'm using that term correctly. Where it's like trying to, it's referencing Greek myths, but I think they're using like the same names. It's like Athena isn't the goddess Athena, it's a programmer or something named Athena. Interesting. Okay, let's figure it out, email. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Okay, let's exit. New texts have been added to the journal. Okay, so now I have access to all of those. And that was at Terminal A01. Okay, this is really interesting. Yep, there's still those sigils that I have not unlocked, but let's move toward this. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Okay. Oh, binary, of course. Whoa. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. I don't have any of the sigils required to open that door. Oh, I need. Do I need all the sigils from all the doors? Because holy shit, that's a lot of doors. There are mysteries in my garden hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. And what about this one? Oh, it's just boarded up. I'm not supposed to go there. Well, if I can be a bit rebellious, I'm going there as soon as I can. I have none of the sigils required to activate that. Or that. I'm not even sure what that is. That appears to be some sort of enhanced jammer. They all have no heads. Which, I mean, old statues are can be ruined. That's not that surprising. But still... I kind of want to go back and get the sigils I didn't do, but let's move on to two for now. If I can, if it'll let me. It'll let me. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Okay, so we've got our little Garden of Eden situation. I mean, it's literally called the Garden. Alright, so this will be A02. Yeah, 
Guest unknown. List. Library archive is currently unavailable. System resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. Okay. Access the comm portal. Network inaccessible. Run MLA troubleshooter? Sure. Troubleshooting. Ooh, I need... I need a password. Uh, if Elohim means God, let's try God, just because. Add in password incorrect. Trust number one? Oh, I, there's no back option. I just have to keep trying. Let's just try QWERTY. Create a new admin account. Sure. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. I am a bot. Sort of... You will not be asked to use inputs to cohere with data protection legislation. You must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one. Part one ready for using, but please complete all fields. Okay. Time is a factor. Question one of four. Two plus two equals four. Your input has been accepted. What is your subjective reaction to this image a uh, face I'd say happy but it's a it, that's not there what best describes a person um a rational animal I like that the one that doesn't come out this travel his eyes bulge from the dehydration you have water but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis oasis what do you do um Half the water? Or ask what you're doing. Probably half the water. Let's go. Input has been accepted. Part one of the certification progress has been is now complete. You will receive a notification. Part two has been generated. And now I can access some more emails and text and stuff. Ooh, Talos principle. As they say, roll credits. Alright, let's open Ian. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. Okay, Ian. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in, and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarab... Sorry to whatever culture this is, that name I'm about to butcher. Sarabhai shows up, smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the institute was founded. Ainen? Ipen? Iapen? Anapno? It all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So, we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name. I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. Okay. Athena analysis. Is this gonna be about... E On the novel's first sentences. sentence, she woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing signif signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as an allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... Note number two, having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what we our own, subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. When, in chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the, a more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of, okay, this is really cool, I'm loving this. And of course, now we must look at the Talos Principle. Talos, let me, hold on, we're talking, I'm closing my eyes so I can't read. Uh, I was just thinking, there's a lot of references to Greek mythology, Talos Principle is gonna be about Talos, the metal structure, the ato first automaton, the one from the Golden Fleece story, Jason and the Argonauts, is that where Talos is from? 
Okay, opening my eyes. Whether it be true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was a creation of Hephaestus. There we go, there we go. What we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows through the veins of gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as man dies when he loses his blood. May we not say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desired. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the case, cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man, while well, driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Okay, we're getting into some deep, or not deep, we're just getting into some, into some heavy topics with man and machine and all that. So I'm guessing that's in terminal A02, yeah. Okay, and I can access this one if I want. Okay, there's a lot I can... There's a lot of places to explore here. What's this transmat pad go to? Oh, there's a, it's a thing. There's... When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to... Ah, uh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I interrupted her. Do I get it? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, just Mrs. Checking. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Okay, interesting. I just wanted to check and see, make sure I was correct. Yeah, it's Alexandra who was emailed by Nadia Sarabini, who is... Alexandra's apparently like the prodigy. You're so young and have already accomplished so much. Interesting. Okay, I didn't want to keep going that way because that felt very much like progress. This feels more like puzzle solving, which is what I played the game to do. Oh, there's a comment from what's it? I can't tell if the documents on the terminals are all that's left from a larger archive or are carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Ooh, that's a good point. That's something I hadn't considered. There's a broken signpost here. What if the documents that are supposedly corrupted they're not corrupted they're just hidden from us which i guess is kind of what corrupted suicide mission i guess that's kind of what corrupted means that's gonna activate the gun why would i oh I have to let myself die so that I can bring. Ooh. Yep, I have been shot to death. But now when I come back. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. I'm very dumb. I was distracted by the title Suicide Mission. I can jam the gun so that it won't kill me while I'm there. Then I can jam this. It will open fire and destroy the bomb. Or the bomb will destroy the gun, one of the two. And now they're all dead and I go in here. 
And I claim my prize. Good. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. Oh, okay. So I'm, like, unlocking that upgraded jammer or whatever it was. Are those other two that I need, are those in... Are those back in section one again? One of them is. Along with some of the things I need for the others. So yeah, uh, let's go finish one. Or how long have I been recording this? I can go a little bit longer. Let's finish out section one. As I go here, I've gotten all of those. Oh, even from the beginning, there was ones I missed. Poking a sleeping lion. Oh, because I have to take the jammer, but to do that I have to... Oh, okay. Nope, okay, so that was not correct. Can I double jam it? Well, no, that doesn't work, because how would I jam... Okay. Okay. Interesting little puzzle. That's not gonna open. Fine. Oh. Isn't this where you woke up? Where there was that, like... There's like a bench. Trio Bombasticus. I don't know Latin enough, but trio is obviously three. I'm not entirely sure what bombasticus means, but bombastic is generally used to describe very loud out there personality. So I think in this case it refers to the three, these three things. There's two other objectives. This is the first terminal, which I've completed everything on. Oh. Oh, the transmap pad is at the... So it took me to the end of it. Okay, interesting. I was just... I had my geometry of the stage backwards. So now I've completed all the ones in there, but I didn't go this way to get these two. Let me guess. Yeah, I can't take the jammer. It's like, just like Portal. Okay, I think I get it. Hold on, I need to jam. That, because you can double jam. That allows me, I can't jam through the... Come on, I want it to get close enough. Okay. Shit, I thought there might be a second jammer over here.
Oh, but now that I'm not don't need to get in there, I can take this out. Jam that. Use the second jammer. To get that guy. And attain the peace. The sigil. I just realized how funny it is, like. It's kind of similar to Hyperlight Drifter, and that that one's all about collecting the seal fragments, as I call them, and this is all about collecting sigil fragments. Only the two of us. So I can jam it from here, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Unless... Oh, there's a second jammer. Just in case, I'm trying to be funny and predictive. And then if it turns out I'm right... Oh no, I do need... I'm already predicting where this is gonna go. Because I'm the guess, no bombs, I just get to walk right up and take it. Oh, and now I just take this and take this. And I that should be all the sigils from section one, I believe. Let me check. Yes, I do believe I have acquired all the sigils from section one. Yep. And then if I go over here, I have two of the sigils. Oh, I can't. I can't begin acquiring them. Okay. So, that is the Talos Principle. I didn't even connect Talos with the Automaton until they threw all the references to Greek mythology at me. Very intriguing game. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Looks like there's quite a bit of it to play, although these puzzles were fairly simple, so I should be able to make some good progress. Even the architecture is very Greek. Yeah. Very cool. Looking forward to playing more. I feel like... I don't know. There's a lot I'm probably reading in too far deep because I know the game. Because, like, I know the game has, like, this smart reputation. So I'll try to, like... I'm probably trying to, like, read all this intelligence into it. And maybe it's just a design choice. And then I just look kind of stupid. Oh, so there's no eight. It stops at seven. And then we've got the locked door, the boarded up door. Interesting. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Thank you again, and goodbye.